Hey, hey, I have some visit. Let's go to Perlan, which is a kind of museum you can find in the capital area. So you have different things you can do in this museum. You have like a projection explaining you the northern lights, but you have also explanation about the geology, the ground of Iceland, and also about the wildlife. You can also visit a nice cave, so it's a fake one, my friend told me. It smells like fridge, <laughs> but it's still nice. It's something you can do in this kind of museum, let's say, and it's super interesting. Perlan is also the highest point of view you can have over the capital area. We got lucky on the first night of staying in Iceland. We got the chance to see northern nights from my balcony. <laughs> we also met my friends to have some kjotsupa, the traditional Icelandic meat soup, and also some rye bread ice cream. The next day, we took the car to go on a road trip. <laughs> I took two days off so we could visit all the main spots you can see in the south coast of Iceland. So you already saw those spots in my previous vlogs, so just enjoy. <laughs> The Icelandic horses is a very unique breed descending from the North horses. They have unique features such as being fluffy, sturdy and short. They are rarely more than 1.5 meters tall. However, you should not compare them to ponies in front of an Icelander. Yes, they are small but they are strong and powerful. They are very unique because they have five gates while other breeds usually have three or four. wind in Iceland is rather famous and it was the first time for my friend Steffi to discover it. It's quite an experience because it's rather powerful. <laughs> Thank you. 
With the beginning of the winter season, it became a little bit tricky to organize road trips because the days were getting shorter and shorter, so you had less daylight during the day, so less amount of time to see many things during the day, while in summer you can see thousands of things all day and all night. Iceland really is a beautiful country, but when it's dark, it's actually very dark, so you cannot see much things. After exploring the south coast, we head back to Reykjavik and for the next day and the last day of Steffi in Iceland, we decided to go for the Golden Circle. So the Golden Circle is actually one of the most famous tours you can do in Iceland, as well as the south coast. During this tour you can see some of the highlights of the country, such as Pinsetir National Park with the tectonic plates, Gezir and also Götlifoss. Here in Iceland we have a saying, if you don't like the weather, just wait for 5 minutes. The weather here can change so quickly, from a minute to the other. You can have a beautiful sky, clear sky, and then you have a storm, a snowstorm. Like it changes all the time, so it's very unpredictable here. And after five days, it's already time for Stevie to leave Iceland. Bonjour. 
So Maud got the visit of her family and they kindly bring us back from France some French cheese called raclette. So usually we cook this with a specific machine we have back in France, but here we just use a bag. So in Reykjavik there is this place where you can try out some lukum made, I think it's the name, I'm not sure. It's like um, some fried Greek pastry and it's actually super good. So in my cooking habits you can easily spot that I have Spanish roots. This is tortilla. With the girls we love to try some new stuff. It's not always a success though. <laughs> So the winter time means northern lights, shorter days, but also it means snow. So for the past four or two years, there have been a very little amount of snow. But this year looks very promising. <laughs> 